What's up everybody, it's the Everyday Dad. Welcome back to Reviewing the Cheapest. Today on Reviewing the Cheapest, we've got the Samsung Galaxy Tab E. What? What do you mean it normally comes in a box that's been shipped to me? I don't know what you're talking about. I would never wait until the last minute to get a Reviewing the Cheapest. Okay, I haven't thought about this. I need to find something for reviewing the cheapest. Cheapest vlogging cameras already did it. Cheapest, cheapest, what are we gonna do? Can't let everybody know that the last few days have, I've been playing nothing but Overwatch and going on vacation, so there we go. Cheapest tablet you can get, they can still fly drones on. It's on sale too. I totally didn't put this off to the absolute last second the day before the video's out. Okay, so you caught me. I totally waited till the last second for reviewing the cheapest. We were out on vacation in Jacksonville, Florida. I didn't really have a chance to do reviewing the cheapest. I didn't have a chance to order anything for reviewing the cheapest, so this week we went to our local Walmart, picked up the cheapest tab we could find that could also be utilized for things like drone photography, maybe some light stuff around the house, maybe some YouTube video. Okay, so quick behind the scenes moment. This one, out of stock. So we had to, we had to go to the next cheapest one. Almost. Oh, that's what you get for waiting for the last second. So let's just get to it. Let's unbox it. I don't think there's very much here to unbox today. That's why I didn't set up the whole camera rig. So, boom. Real quick. There's the tablet. That's pretty much it. Thanks everybody for watching, reviewing the cheapest. We'll come back next week. I'm, I'm kidding. So what does it got? It's, it's got a charger. I'm all hopped up on diet soda right now. It's got the charger. It's got a book. Quick start guide, warranty guide. Why is the warranty guide bigger than the instructions? Okay, I've never actually had a tablet before, so this is kind of new to me. Let's take off. This is the best part of any electronics. Oh, I love taking that screen protector off. Oh yeah. That's the, I love doing that. That's one of the best parts of reviewing the cheapest. When I get a chance to take off the screen protector. Okay, this feels pretty good. The Samsung Galaxy Tab E is a 7 inch LCD screen. It's got a 1.3 quad core CPU, sounds fancy. And it's got a touch screen. Let's see if we can turn it on. Powered by Android. I gotta get used to Samsung stuff now that I've got a Samsung other product coming this week that we'll talk about later in the week. If you are, were on the live stream or if you read the comments, you probably know what I'm talking about. This is booting up the whole time that we're, we're talking here. We can see the, the reflection. Welcome! Oh, well, hey, let's set this up for the first time. Accessibility, English, start. Wi-Fi, what's that? Connect to our Wi-Fi network. I'm not, I'm not gonna show you guys my password. I don't actually remember the password. How often do you like type in your Wi-Fi password? I rarely think this is it. Nope, authentication error. What is? Password. Well, this is awkward. Okay, forget. Okay. Let's try that one. Attempt number two for the password. Authenticating. Okay, another authentication error. <laughs> I never type in my Wi-Fi password, so I definitely don't remember it. Attempt number three. Okay, we have to go ask the everyday wife what the Wi-Fi password is. She probably doesn't know either. Fourth time's the charm. I did not have to go ask the everyday wife. I'm gonna not cut that to prove that I didn't have to go ask her. Okay, we're connected to Wi-Fi. Date and time. Today is... Well, you already know that. If you already know the date, why are you asking me? Tablet. It is 3.24 p.m. Next. Uh, yes, I will agree to this and not read it. Uh, I don't really want to do that part. Next. Got Google? Of course I've got Google. EverydayDad1 at gmail.com if you want to send me an email. Not everyday sad, everyday no. Dot com. I like, so my favorite thing about a digital keyboard is when they have a dot com button. I hate typing, you gotta find the period, then com, I just like dot com buttons. You, you've already won, review's over. I already like it too much because of that. Signing in, couldn't sign in. Oh, it's gonna be one of those days, huh? The everyday dad, that's who owns this tablet. No last name. We just gotta update YouTube real quick. This thing's been working pretty fast. I mean, it's it's doing everything so far. It doesn't have like a super HD display, but you know, that's part of the charm, at least in my mind, of reviewing the cheapest is you don't get the bleeding edge of technology, but if you just wait for a generation or two, I mean, technology's so advanced these days that even a generation or two previously, it's still pretty good. So it's been updated. Let's check out, let's see how good it looks. Uh, when we watch an Everyday Dad video. He's my favorite. The Everyday 
bad. Let's search for him. What's he up to these days? Hey, I know that guy. Hey, he released a video today. Let's check it out. Ads. Okay, so it doesn't do landscape mode. It only does portrait mode, but look at that guy. Look at that guy. Okay, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. The audio is pretty good too. Okay, let's close out of you. Just buy a drone already, man. What's this guy? What's this guy talking about? You just talk, talk, talk. Just buy a drone already, everyday dad. Come on. So that was pretty good. YouTube was pretty quick. I mean, I don't exactly know how I should be reviewing this. It works pretty. It works pretty well. It's got a. It's got the micro USB. It doesn't have USB Class C. It has a micro SD slot. It's expandable to 32 gigabyte. It's got. Let's check out the rear facing camera real quick. It does not have a front. It does not have a front facing camera. But it's got a rear facing. It's got a rear facing two megapixel camera. So, I mean, that's that's not very good. But let's take a picture. Let's smile for the camera real quick. It doesn't look terrible. Let's take a selfie. You guys, take a selfie with me. Cheese. You you guys get in the picture. Get in the picture. Cheese. My the room's atrocious. After the the vacation, the live stream, the room's destroyed. So don't. Don't judge that too harshly. So we've checked YouTube, we've checked email. It looks, it's very, it's very responsive. The screen feels good. I like this, uh, this back cover that kind of comes with it. So the real thing that, the real reason I got this and what I'm really curious about is drones. Can an old cheap tablet like this run something like DJI 4 Go so I can fly my drone with it? Install in DJI Go 4, so it's there. We just, we gotta download it real quick. So it kind of holds it. It, you know, it's not, it's not terrible. It holds it in place. Just gotta update the app now too. Okay, sign in. You should know me. Okay, we're all connected. Let's pop the app back open again. Go fly. There we go, that's pretty good for a uh, $100, $100 tablet. It looks pretty good. And you can see, there's my hand there in front of the, the DJI camera. Peace, thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, let's take it outside real quick, see how well it flies, okay. You guys come with me. So the main reason I really started looking at these tablets is, you've seen my videos about my iPhone. My iPhone's really been failing me and it's been a really big pain in the butt to get it to work. And so I just decided to get this cheap tablet. If it works, maybe I'll return this Samsung Galaxy S8 I just got. Uh, it should be here on Wednesday, but uh, maybe I'll return that and just stick with this tablet because it's working. I mean, you can't fault working. Again, don't judge the yard too harshly. I actually, I'm, I'm trying to wrap this video up real quick so I can mow today. So again, don't judge it too harshly. I know I say that every time, but the grass is finally dry enough. We're back from vacation. Just to prove that I actually did it since I keep talking about it, I actually do mow from time to time. <laughs> I can actually mow, but we're not here to mow today. And we're here to check out this tablet. I mean, it's it's really in there, so I'm not, I know they make extenders and all sorts of things so you can use your tablet with, uh, with your drone, but I'm actually pretty in, I'm pretty impressed with how it stays in there, just barely. It looks like it's barely in there, but it's in there. You can see there's not too much lag between the two, so right stick, left stick. I mean, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of lag. It's getting a little better, but I mean, I feel confident with it flying the drone. Hey, there's us looking at it. It is kind of slow switching between the menus. But hey, it definitely flies the drone, so let's bring it back and we'll go inside and get my uh, final thoughts. Whew. And we're back. So we kind of tested the Samsung Galaxy Tab Elite now. It's seven inches. Uh, now we're at the part in the review where I like to talk about should you buy it and will I keep it? So I'm gonna be pretty frank with you guys. I do not understand tablets. I do not get like why somebody would want a tablet. So if it's something quick that I just want to check out, why wouldn't I use my phone? And if it's something that I need bigger real estate for to do work on, why wouldn't I use my laptop? So I've never had an iPad. I've never really understood tablets. The only reason I really got a tablet was to, to be able to see the DJI app better. So for that, I think this is a pretty good one. It's cheap. It worked the DJI, the DJI Go 4 app pretty well. I didn't really have any big issues with it. Had a much bigger screen than my iPhone 7 Plus. 
not as high resolution, but it let me see everything. It was easy to touch all the buttons. It fit well enough inside of the uh, DJI Spark controller. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a, a tablet to do drone stuff or just to do simple around the house, maybe, I guess, watch Everyday Dad videos on YouTube. <laughs> if you want to do that, yeah, this is perfectly fine. This is a good, this is a good tablet for that. I, I fully recommend this because I don't know that I would recommend, like, a super high-end tablet because what's the point? Like, the only tablet I would recommend to somebody is one that's cheap enough to do what you're looking for in a tablet. If that makes sense, I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm being confusing with the way I'm talking about tablets. I'd like to review this better. If you have questions or something you want to see about this tablet, leave a comment below. But I don't understand tablets. I don't. It's easy to do cameras because I can show you what the camera quality looks like. I can show you what your product would look like if you get it. This, I mean, we'll, we took the selfie, we'll see that. And we sh I showed you how I generally would use it for general internet, checking email, doing the drone flying. That's, that's pretty much it. I highly recommend this. Will I keep this? I don't know. Probably at least until... I'm gonna keep this around at least until I get the Samsung phone, because this has something that this cannot top. Seriously. And it is... The headphone port. The headphone port. I... I hate. I hate that the iPhone does not have a regular headphone port. I really, my wife thinks that I'm crazy for saying it. The everyday wife thinks that I'm crazy for saying that. But to put the adapter in to work the headphones with this means I can't charge it and listen to music at the same time. And I like to have like some background noise when I'm sleeping, so I can't use my phone for that. I've been using my MacBook for that, which drives everybody crazy because it's bright even with it shut. So I think I'm going to keep this. I'm actually pretty excited to use this. It's exactly what I'm looking for. So. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, if you like if you like checking out Cheap Tech, click that subscribe button down below. I do think that, and I think I mentioned this earlier, as technology moves forward, technology is growing at like an exponential rate. So if you can wait a generation or two behind, you'll get some things that, like five years ago, this would be cutting edge. Absolutely. So hey, I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure out what tablets are for, and I can't, actually, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Thanks for watching.